Hello, lovelies. Before I even say anything else, just just listen to this. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah. Man, I just, just gotta love that ceramic bowl sound, innit? Also, there you can see my uh, my references for the hat. Everything's being set up super early in this one. Um, but yeah, welcome back to another half Twitch, half off stream time lapse thing with casual commentary on top. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I'm Jen, and uh, yeah, as you can tell, the first half of this is gonna be the usual Twitch chaos. Try to ignore the chat. Silly chat. What you're currently seeing is a character from my next short uh, genital story. So uh, it's basically about farming. Can you tell? The other character in this story is a cowgirl that I've also actually painted half on Twitch and half off stream. So, you know, if you want to watch that, there's that's another time lapse for you. I'll link it below or something. I'm trying to get more used to doing the more opaque painting here. It's still really quite scary. Oh, also sorry about the whole, blah, 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 you know, lady thing that the pops in. We are on Twitch. And yes, because we are on Twitch, I also sometimes just have to troll the chat. Because, because the chat just trolls me all the time, so you know, I gotta give it back to them. I believe also that there, at some point during this, um, I may be having a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've actually told you what I'm working with at the moment. Um, so, so what you're currently seeing is some gouache being... I mean, what you're currently seeing over there is just a bit of uh, <laughs> Korean snacks. <laughs> Thanks, Elle. Uh, but yeah, I am uh, using gouache and um, I'm both using it quite... Um, thickly and a bit more watercolory. I'm trying to sort of mix the two. It's still very much a, a thing I'm learning so I'm not comfortable using it quite yet. But yeah, as I'm filming this I'm also still recovering from uh, that surgery so uh, Hence why everything is a little bit more casual, you know, with the casual commentary and me having to edit out a lot of chatting from that Twitch VOD because, believe it or not, there's just tons of chatting and not a lot of actual working <laughs> happening. But yeah, at this point, I believe, yeah, my husband's uh, home and he's also in the same room, which is why I keep looking to the side. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm having a bad idea about wanting to get up and do jumping jacks and squats and things. And my husband is having none of it. So he revokes pre-streamer privilege <laughs> with a cardboard um, thing over the camera. Yeah. Sometimes I just, you know, I just let the chat tell me what to do, um, and it's all their fault, really. So, just blame them. Just continue blaming them. I 
I'm really enjoying trying to get to grips with all the sort of shadows and stuff like that with gouache. I'm still keeping all of that quite watery because I'm a bit scared. But I just love how how much more pigment you've got. Oh, quick snack break there. But yeah, the pigments are just, I, they're too, just to die for. I love them. Oh, there you go. A quick uh, River Shinra show and tell break. If you hop onto Twitch, you'll probably find a lot of the time my streams become like a show and tell. Because people tend to ask me what's in the bookcase behind me and stuff like that. Or they'll ask, like, have you read this comic or do you know about this? And if, for some reason, I have, I just have to go and fetch it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should make, like, a video of the... Oh, sorry, I just showed a bit of a bit of a cow there. Um, oh, there we go. We're finally getting to the off-stream bit. Thank God. There's going to be some pure focus here. There is, There's no distraction. No nothing, we're just getting on with it, lovely. But yeah, I've been thinking about doing a separate video for fun about um, my bookcase, the little narrow one that you can see in the stream a lot of the time. Because uh, I do have a lot of questions about it and it would be fun to just make a little video that I can then point people to. That might be something I do in the future. Just really enjoying the, the purple hair dye on this character. Also, special love to Twitch chat for giving me the uh, inspiration for the... Is it called Dahlia piercings? I might be saying that wrong, I'm very sorry. But you see those piercings by the mouth? Because I knew I wanted this character to have piercings, but I wasn't sure what. And the cowgirl already has a, uh, the... Septum? You, you know, the, the bull one? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. But yeah, she's already got that. So I didn't want the farmer to have the same piercing. That's unacceptable. I'm slowly getting more used to how to like do the lighting and stuff. Oh, speaking of which, here you go. This is the tinted glasses that I got the idea for. Um, I think it's a mixture of watching people who use these tinted glasses that apparently help with ADHD um, and also seeing other people paint characters with tinted glasses on. And I was like, oh, I really want that. I'm not sure if it worked really well, um, so I might redo that for when I actually make this character in the comic book, but it was a nice idea anyway. Now we have hopped on to using the Copic Opaque White, the very very scuffed opaque white at this point. You can probably tell that it's just crusty. It's... It's really seen better days. <laughs> I, I think what's happened is that I've, um, I've left it open and it's just dried out and then I put some ball bearings into it, which was a mistake because that kind of rusted it and it's just been downhill from there. At this point, my camera is uh, flickering a bit, I think, so the um, the lighting might go a little bit funny for a second there. But yeah, you can see I'm just trying desperately to get some kind of ink <laughs> out of that poor, suffering, opaque white. I think looking back at this, I should have put a bit more in the tint in those glasses because right now it just it doesn't look quite right also the um, the actual um, uh, color balance on the camera is also a bit off here so that, let's just blame that you'll see in the scan quite soon that um, the color balance is very off <laughs> just gotta get the masking tape off oh, good stuff Here you go. 
Compare that to the scan, which is a lot colder, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for watching and be sure to have a lovely day.